Hello everybody, welcome back to OCRP. Once again, we are going to be doing a patrol in Sandy Shores, so we're going to be doing some small town cop things today. Let's get on patrol. Want a gunpoint? I'll be 1036, uh, gas station. Alright, 104, is it going to be with the uh, old lady with a hammer? Uh, no, it's going to be with, uh, Kate. Alright, copy that. I got a 911 call at that location as well. Figure this out. All right. Um, okay. uh, yeah. Ma'am, I'll talk to you in a second. What the heck's going on over here? This old lady's crazy. Okay. He was, she he was, was going around with a hammer and she beat the crap out of my car. I got it fixed and then she ran over my fiance daddy. twice with a motorcycle. All right. All right. I so didn't, didn't, I, uh, I'm I didn't out here. See any of that. And right, the only thing the, I saw uh, was you hitting her with your vehicle. Uh, I no, I never so. hit her, but uh, I was you were blocking her in. All right, so who has the hammer? The old lady. Oh, oh, okay, she does. Yeah, she's crazy. Because right, we got a 911 call about that. Was that you, y'all that were calling? Yeah, that's my that's my fiance. She's still on the phone. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, well, I'm gonna just have you guys just come over here. So just hang out behind your vehicle. Don't, you, no need to get All in right. front. We don't want to escalate this. We don't need to. All right. No, I don't. God, she's done enough damage. Yeah, like, I, I don't understand. Show when me, we uh, kind of, uh, like, somewhat pulled, like, talked to her earlier, she said, oh, I, you're not the redhead. I thought that was you. So she clearly intended to attack someone else, but then she's continued to attack, attack me and us. Okay, so she had a hammer, and she was coming at you guys with a hammer? That's, that's the report I have. Uh, well, oh, yes, she uh, like earlier, so, uh, the first thing was on a motorcycle. She ran, uh, like she no hit problem. me with the motorcycle, and then she found us again, and she like kicked me while she drove like rode by, and um, then after she told us that she thought I was a different person, and so we blocked her in, and we kind of like, you know had words. Uh, we left, and then she came back and attacked the car with the hammer while I was in it. Okay. okay. So where did this all take place? You show me uh, a. Originally started what at flywheels? Or uh, no? Well, was the it first right time over she here? hit me was cool. was over here at the twenty four seven, and then she kicked me at flywheels, and that's where we had words. And then the hammer incident was at the twenty four seven again here. Okay. And that was right before I called nine one one. Yeah, good thing you called that because yeah, that's a little uh, obnoxious. Say oh. anything, you so. If it's if it's What's a that? Head, it's Yes, sir. Uh, can you get OC Toe uh, to come over here and park up for a report? Uh, they were an eyewitness on this. 722, full pursuit with a wheelchair. Oh we're going past 24 Wow. What's your problem? You okay? You okay? Oh. She hit him Baby again. armed with a hammer. And just wow. Like, Go oh past gosh. Mama John. She's literally crazy. I got oh a uh, got a victim down here at uh, 1036. Okay. They got ran over by the wheelchair. But man, that hurt. What did she hit right. you with? I barely saw her. Her wheelchair. Where, is it, where does it hurt at? Uh, just my legs. Right, I think they're just scuffed up. I'm just shocked from it. Okay. All right. You're okay to let walk. I see some blood yeah. on the ground here. Yeah. Let me try to stand up. Okay. Well, if you don't mind hobbling back over to your car there, uh, I'm going to talk to this guy and we're going to try to try to get this resolved. These uh, two over here were having an issue with the old lady in a wheelchair yep. with a hammer. And they said that you probably saw most of it so maybe you can just tell us what it, what you saw yeah earlier she was on a motorcycle um and she was going after them with the motorcycle kicking them she also tried to kick my tow truck when she went past me on the motorcycle earlier oh lovely uh, yeah and then yeah i said i think they had words with it at, the, at flywheels so they drove by there when i saw them um and then after that everyone went their separate ways and then, yeah, she came back out in that wheelchair and uh, started taking people with a hammer. She tried to hit me with a hammer as well. Jeez. So, so these two over here, they didn't, they weren't aggressive towards her or anything like that? Not as far as I'm aware of. Okay. Well, I appreciate your uh, report. That's going to help out a lot. All right. So you don't need any medical attention or anything like that, right? No. All right. I'm just going to get you guys name for this uh, report, but... Uh, we, we'll get you on your way in a minute. She is in custody with the Sandy Shores oh, Police Department. Nice. Oh, good. That's good, because I probably would have had to run her over. Like, can you put her away and throw away the key? Uh, if only we were that easy. 
I got your, yeah, uh, put on like the pressure's right with Drew. Up, That'll so get her. Ah, gotcha. Uh, that makes yeah, sense because yeah, she doesn't like. Uh, she doesn't like Drew being the host. Yeah, she. Uh, she uh, sent me a picture of Bob Barker, and so I sent her a picture of Drew, and she Bay. said, he DIE, in all caps, 17 times. I have released the other party. I will be back tonight. At 2223. Wow. Playing a guitar on a hover round. Went flying through that intersection. Holy cow. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? My name is Officer Fabiano with the Sandy Shores Police Department. Reason for the stop is uh, the insane speed you had going through the intersection, but more or less barely making that intersection on a scooter and a guitar in your lap. Oh, yeah, I play what I see, man. You sing what you see? No, I play while I drive and sing. It's all at the same time. It's, it's safe, man. Well, how fast do you need to go on that scooter to do it? I don't know. I try to call the, the manufacturer, and they just told me to deal with it, man. Okay. You got you double-jointed? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Corey Revis, man. What's that? Corey Revis. Corey Revis. Clean, Clean violent, violent, mentally ill. Mentally Ill. Okay. Uh, homeless, unemployed, driving while suspended and disqualified. And it's closed. Okay. So that was a, that's the last time. Yeah, I'll just talk to him about that. I got hit by a car the other day too. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry to hear that. All right. Well, here's the deal. It's going to be a verbal warning today. Keep the speed down. I know that that thing goes fast, but there's no reason to be driving it like that, man. And it's reckless and and careless with the guitar in your lap. So my advice to you would be stick to the side of the road, slow speeds. Okay. Okay. Okay, man. All right. You have any questions for me? Yeah, no, I think that's all. All right. Have a good one. And stay safe. I fought for love. Standing 7 I'm clearing my traffic. My prisoner was uh, released. Uh, Type it up with all information for you. So just leave me on the call for now. Yeah, it's a red Cadillac, low rider. Alright, uh, 10 sir. That's what I thought you said. 12797. Yeah, it's a uh, 75 coupe, the bill. 10 4, 12797 at 2245. Right, these guys are doing. We already ran their information when we were at the, at the thing. But probably his caution codes is why he wants another unit down here. More than likely that is the case, and I don't blame him. Oh yeah, I, I uh, ran the plate earlier at the gas station. That was sounds like a fun one. Yeah, so like I was driving uh, into Sandy, and he was driving in circles. His trunk was open, and his passenger was out running around. So I don't know what was going on. He said he had okay. weightlifting equipment in the back of his trunk, but I guess it flew out. How y'all doing today? I was just fine. How are you today? I'm all right. My name is Officer Fabiano with the Sandy Shores Police Department. Oh, hey there. Why you got your gun out? Oh, I just have it out on my side. You'd be surprised oh, how many times oh, we get shot. Oh, no. It's a county. It happens all the time. It's real scary out here sometimes. <laughs> oh, well, how's your day going so far? It sure is a nice day today. It is a beautiful day. I agree. It's going, it's going pretty good. Oh, then we had a oh, yeah. old lady tack some people with a hammer. That's about it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, was that lady wearing a trench coat by chance? I saw her running around earlier. Yeah, that would be her. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you. Well, did you guys get her? Yeah, she uh, ended up in custody after uh, attacking two people. Oh, good. Well, at least you guys got her. That's pretty scary, too. Yep. What are you all up to today? Well, I'm just trying to hit the team. You know, I got some bodybuilding equipment in but it all flew out and the car got real squirrely on me. You can't let me oh, okay. learn to drive. 
Well, well, I'm trying to get big and strong, you know. Money. Zero, four, oh, one. You oh, shot the road. He is in the no no zone right there, man. That is dangerous. Pick up. I have nothing else, so uh, you guys are good to go. Drive Care safe. Want. Four, one, Try not to okay. drive in circles. Four, one, Okay, I'm sorry about that. I'm out on a. Uh, have a good workout. Take care, y'all. Uh, oh, I will be that sweat out. Bye, guys. He reported that he was shot at earlier, also. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. No problem, man. Truck. Wow. All right, 10 I believe yeah, the caution codes are scary, but well. they don't seem like scary people when you okay. talk to them. Yeah, this one was a we back truck tonight. this time. It was a different truck last time. Blur, can I get you an additional, please? I got Mr. Chatterton here on a suspended. Yeah, 10 I'm right across the street. Got Mr. Chatterton here. Uh, he is suspended. I got him 74 on uh, Joshua here. Oh, man. Uh, I believe his fiance or girlfriend, Amber, is with him. He's okay. usually a runner. Um, he's known to run. I want to see if he's going to go peaceful and get Amber to drive and cut him a couple of citations, but you know, hopefully he decides to just take the citations. All right. You want me to come up there with you? Want me to hang out? Uh, if you want to hang out, I, he's he's a runner. So okay. Just, yep. 230 County. And they're on their way. Just like that. No, it's a Tundra we just saw. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing all right, officer. How are you? Uh, not bad at all. Everything good down here? No, I was just meeting a friend. Uh, one, yeah, yeah, I was medical, like, this way we have a taser. But, uh, we just okay. to kind of do it off the beaten path. Not to Got bother anybody. By. Gotcha. No worries. We'll have a good night. Or a good rest yeah. of your day now because it's morning. Oh, yeah. You as well, officer. Have a good one. Stay safe out all there. All right. Take care. You're all 1070, 2021, CB Road for a blue and color golf cart. Jesus! Wow. What are you Good doing, time, dude? Are you all right? Stay still. You all okay? You okay? I think so. Ow. What are you blowing through town for on that thing, man? You got a yield oh. sign there. You have to yield the traffic that's coming down this road. Oh. Where does it hurt? Everywhere. Dispatch package channel. My groceries. Seven. I had three forties and some, you some biggie pills. Where'd they okay. go? Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, so the throttle around. stuck. I didn't realize. Okay. I'm gonna. Go yeah, one two seven. Uh, I'm I'm out here at uh, ten twenty three Algonquin Panorama. I had an elderly gentleman on a hover round smash right into me uh, at the intersection. I need to roll a medic. Man, oh man, I never saw you coming, but you had that yield sign there, and bam. I didn't. To be fair, I didn't see you either. You weren't there, okay. and then you were. All right, man. We do have uh, medics on the way. Okay, so we're gonna oh, okay. try to get this uh, taken care of as soon as possible. You're is it county or? Uh, I don't believe so. I think we'd actually have somebody coming to you, but I don't know yet. Holy crap. Dude, look, you can see the lines of the little scooter right here. Going all the way off of there, all the way down to there. So where it was struck, it went flying down this way into that. That is wild. That sign right there yield, which he did not do at all. That's why he came blasting through there. Let's hang in there a little bit longer, man. Medics will be here very shortly. Okay. I'm going nowhere, I guess. All right. The uh, medics have shown up here. They're going to take care of you, okay? Okay. All right. What was your name? John Hopkiss. John Hopkiss? Okay, yeah, Mr. Hopkiss. Like when you hop and kiss together, you know? Yeah, I got you. All right. Sounds good. Oh, we got a whole party here. Everybody helping us out with this. I'm going to go ahead and let them uh, do their thing. All right, John Hopkiss right here. Mentally ill fleeing. That's him right there. He's 79 years old. Got struck. Records. Arrest one. Fleeing. Okay. And then we have rejected license. That's probably why he's on the scooter. Uh, vehicle registration for a sedan, but uh, that's not what we have here. So he doesn't have a driver's license. Yep, I'm ready whenever you guys are. It's good. Get him lifted in three, two, 
one. Negative. Apologies, sir. I'm actually. All right, Mr. Hawkins, we're gonna take it nice and easy for you. We're just gonna get oh, your. Okay, sir. Thank you for your service. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. All right. Looks like he's gonna be okay. We'll let these guys do their oh, thing. No. No. Let this all get cleaned up here, and we're gonna be. We'll head back to uh, the Sally Port. Just check over the vehicle, the and then uh, we'll be back uh, tonight. That might be our blue Subaru right there. It is. That is our vehicle right there. Yeah, 127. I'm out here at uh, 1036. I've got eyes on that uh, blue Subaru. It's at the hot dog stand across from 24 7. 722 in row. Oh, he just rammed that. And for further 48, uh, subject said uh, the vehicle that shot up their vehicle, he was not able to get a description on it. But no, they that's not the same one. It's different. Before shooting up their vehicle. 127, is that plate coming back stolen? Negative, that was the co cookies plate back there. Uh, Sandy, uh, 127. 127? Yes, uh, we're going to be 1050 with that blue Subaru. What was that uh, bullet for? Uh, vandalizing the 24 uh, 7. All right, well, he just vandalized the taco truck too, so uh, all right, we're going to be pulling him out. All right, 10 4, do you have any other units out with you? 720 is out. All right, I'll have you out with them. Hey, do me a favor. Go ahead and uh, shut the vehicle off. What? Step out of the vehicle. Come back with us here. What? Did, did you just not smash right into that taco truck? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Well, it's because she was being a beehole. Get out of the ve get out of the vehicle person. and come back here to the front of my vehicle. Well, I don't want to. She's a child murderer. Yeah. So you didn't vandalize the 24 seven either? All right, gotta go. Yeah, I'm escalating it. <laughs> I'm escalating it so we never pursue it. <laughs> we'll work great. 127 on my second there. We're making a right-hand turn now onto Zancudo. We're gonna be flipping all the way back around through Mama John's Malnati's. And uh, lost eyes, oh, he's right here. I'm going to have him southbound panorama break 31. We're going to be southbound panorama coming up on the San Shores Airfield 1020. Copy 1020. Choya Road. We're going to be making a left turn now on to uh, Smoke Tree. Taking Smoke Tree all the way out eastbound 952. We Cat Claw Avenue headed towards 68, 954 passing the recycling center. Back on Panorama, northbound Panorama, 950 at Yellow Jack. Right, he's got call outs, I'm just going to stay with him. What's this guy doing? Almost the vehicle going to the railroad track. Continuing. Right on my gauntlet. Or thank you to my dad. Back on one hand for heading towards 247. Got banded back towards 247. Right on Marina. And a left on East Joshua heading uh He's slippery, isn't he? <laughs> Just a little bit. Continuing still, coming up to CV Road. And we're taking a lot of CV, you notify great CV. Copy, both. Copy, both one attaching. All right, taking a right now on to Great Seed Avenue. On Avenue. Just shutting up and driving right now. Right on Union. 
Perhaps he needed it. Pursuit. <laughs> nice. We are continuing northbound passing uh, Union Road coming up to the tunnel. Traffic coming up to the tunnel. We're going all the way to Polito. Cooking, man, over a hundred. Still northbound, passing the gas station at 3030. Copy, pass the gas station at 3030. We're heading into Polito here. Speed's over 113. What's our pit time, Ryan? Not yet. Got about three minutes remaining. Yeah, it's only been a couple minutes. <laughs> we don't need spikes. We don't even need a pit yet, man. Let the pursuit breathe. It'll be all right. All right, coming into Polito Bay. We are past the gas station at 3045. I thought about making that right turn. That's like even my air horn. My air horn always makes me like have to press in on the stick, and it can be bad steering. Seven second area. We're on Polito Boulevard 3016 at Willie's making a left turn now on to Procopio. We'll be on Procopio 3014. Staying west. Now we're going to make a left hand turn. He just 1050 with a grape seed unit. This is going to be it right here, I believe. 3011 foot bail. Copy 3011 foot bail. I really don't want to have to tase you. Just stop. You didn't do anything wrong. Okay, okay. Just chill, okay. just chill for a second, okay? okay just face away okay. from me. I just uh, there's a lot of you and it's just it's freaking me out, man. I got you, you're a passenger in the vehicle. We're gonna explain what everything's going on here, but uh Yeah, we didn't want to have to tase you. I'm, I'm glad you stopped. Amber, right? Because I ran into you earlier the other day. Yeah, yeah right now you're being detained after this, obviously. Uh you do have the right to remain silent, and then you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed by the state of San Andreas. You understand these rights? Yeah, but I, I didn't do anything. Okay. With these being, with these rights being read to you, do you wish to uh, continue to talk to us for some investigation? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm just letting you know that uh, you have the right to remain silent without an attorney present. So we're going to just walk back over here to the okay. scene, and then we'll uh, we'll start off uh, from the, the whole beginning again, and we can put it all in the report, okay? Uh, your 20, I'll be in route that way. Uh, okay. Yeah, originally... Y'all had a, uh, what we call a bolo, a be on the lookout for the vehicle for vandalization at the 24-7. And then I pull up and then I see him back into the taco truck and take off. So that's what got my suspicion going. And then, well, then he, had, he took off from us. So what's what's going on with the 24-7? What's the vandalization of that? 019, uh, San Andreas had shot uh, I mean, I... One person is down. I don't know. I didn't do anything in there, but Shop like okay. we went over to the one in by Harmony, by and I was get I was inside. I was right, getting a slushy, and um, Caden came in and he said Appreciate something to the okay, clerk, and I guess the clerk did not like that. Right and so he said like right, you can get out and do all this, whatever, and was using just being uh, very somewhere. straightforward, right, I guess, right just being very mean. Okay. And then what happened with the taco truck? You said it was that that lady that wait. he didn't uh, like. Four by four leaving. I don't know if that's. Well, I mean, I have an issue with her. You have, yeah, I'm sorry. He has an issue with her because of that. 
and then he has an he doesn't right, like the the news guys because they're have just you a bunch of weirdos and they like mob truck. together it's very strange yeah. okay i got you you don't have any yeah, weapons like, on you nothing like that right i mean i have a a knife that was a gift okay i mean it's your property you'll get it back i'm just gonna go ahead and remove it from you here Frisky. long on the back floor weed in the center console all cadence phone wallet switchblade all right you're not supposed to have switchblades, you know that, right? Well, it was a gift, so I mean... I, if like, it's a gift, it should stay home so you don't have it on your person if you get stopped by the police. Okay, but, like, do you know how dangerous it is to be, like, a woman in Sandy? Oh, it's I do. I, I understand that. I do. Trust me. And honestly, like, not that long ago... I got kidnapped literally three times in like a week and a half. I would like Chuck Livingston took me down to his basement and helped me there against my will. And then he like let me go or whatever. But then he was part of a group that took me over to a bridge and they literally dropped me off the side. And then my house oh got my. burned down and I had to get put in protective custody. So yeah, I carry a switch blade. Okay. The, uh, and uh, you, have you filed a report with the police about that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Welcome, All right. let me know when uh, I'm just going to go ahead and place you in the back of the vehicle right now. We're going to find out what's going on here, uh, and I'll let you know what's up, okay? But right now, you're just being detained. All right, detained. Four. I'm going to go ahead and Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab her in Cedar. What's up, guys? You all good? Yeah, we're good. All right, wonderful. Uh, Yeah. Were you the one that uh, got struck right around the corner here? Yeah, I was coming down the road, and I guess when he transitioned to go eastbound, he was in our lane of travel, and I really couldn't do anything to avoid him. He was either going to the light pole or go to the left of him, and I swerved and left. Away. And when I swerved left, he swerved right, I think, to go around me, and we just ended up colliding into each other. There really wasn't anywhere for either of us to go. All right, where's he at? Is he in uh, somebody's car up there? Yeah, he's in the back of my car, man, if you want All to right. talk to him. Yeah, I definitely want to talk to him, find out what's going on with this whole thing, because she's claiming that she didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Yeah, he had a. Uh, we removed a switchblade knife and a firearm. Yeah, she had a switchblade on her as well. Oh, uh, some weed. Walk over here, Mr. Chatterton. We finally get to talk. What's up, loser? Yeah, running from the police again, hey? Maybe. Apparently. So, I'm sure you've already been Mirandized. You have your rights and all that, right? Yeah, that guy was like, "Yeah, you have the right to blah blah blah." That's what he said. He tasered me in the rear. Note pad. Okay. You were jumping a fence. It seemed like an ample time to tase you. I mean, you butt. smashed into a police car, so that's not going to help. He was in my way. He was in your way from fleeing from Gosh. the police. Yeah. You didn't properly apex your turn, and you smashed into a car. Well, aren't you, Mister Smarty Pants? Hey, I was the one right behind you, man. Well, uh, I'm glad you kept up this time. Yeah. Hey, I well, mean, the other ones, I, I always lose them. Yeah. Well, Maybe here's, you should start teaching them. Here's the thing. Let's let's start off with the 24-7. The vandalization of the 24-7 is the reason why your car got a bolo on it. So what's going well, on with that? that guy's a loser. Who is? That, the clerk. The clerk in the 24-7? So what happened to the 24-7? I walked in. I called him a loser, and he kicked me out of the store. Okay. What did, what did Amber do at the 24-7? Nothing in that store. Nothing in that store? What about the other 24-7? Because I know there's two of them. That y'all were in. I don't know what she did at the other one. I just went in there and vandalized that one, too. Okay. But she didn't take place in any of the vandalization? Not that I know of. Okay. What'd you do to the place? I just started kicking all the crap on the shelves. That guy's a loser. He deserved it. All right. And this was the... You started doing that at the one in the twenty, the twenty four seven in Sandy Shores. Well, initially in the one in Harmony, because the guy kicked me out, so I kicked the stuff off the shelves, and then I went over to the Sandy one and did the same thing. Oh, okay. So that's what whole happened there. What's what's going on with the taco truck? What'd you back into that for? Oh, because she was being a bee hole. What'd she do? Well, apparently she had an an incident with my fiance Amber, so I wasn't about to have it, so I ran into her taco truck. Okay, I got you. What did uh, what was Amber doing at the taco truck? What 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 escalated this whole thing? Amber was telling me how apparently she witnessed the lady of the taco truck witnessed Amber getting thrown off a bridge by Chuck and a bunch of other stuff. 
Yeah, it sounds like she's been through a lot recently is what I heard. Yeah, she has. It's crap. Okay. And they were taunting her about it? Well, when Amber brought it up, she was starting to get lippy. Okay, but you understand the reason why you can't just back your car into the taco truck and then take off. Well, I mean, I was pretty mad at that point. Plus, I didn't have any tots. Gosh. Yep, they're usually out of those. All right. I don't have any uh, further questions for him. So basically, she was telling me that uh, they went over to the 24-7 uh, over in Harmony. They, I guess she said there were some media people in there that they weren't, like, huge fans of. But she said that Caden was who Caden is, walked in the store, didn't say anything out of the ordinary that he usually says. I think uh, called somebody in there a loser. They got into some type of, I think, verbal altercation. Uh, they left the, the store there and uh, went over to Sandy. Uh, I guess Amber said that there was Helga, Helga's food truck or something like that over there in the Sandy Shores area. Um, and they were trying to get a, She doesn't like Helga, I guess, was what Amber was saying, if I understood yeah, her correctly. Yeah, that's right. Yep. And uh, I guess Caden backed into her food truck, which I guess created a, a facade of problems. And then... Uh, I spoke to her in regards to the uh, traffic stop where you guys stopped her over there in uh, in Sandy, and I asked her if she was going to get out, and uh, you know she didn't see the need to at the time, but uh, she said that once the officer uh, asked him to step out of the car, she said, well, you know how Caden is. He doesn't like to work with police or, or do what police tell him to do, so he ended up leading us on a chase. So, Okay. Yeah, that pretty much checks out. I mean, uh, he's claiming all the narcotics are his, so I don't have anything to hold her on. I think I'm just going to take her up to the station here and then she can get an Uber. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, she didn't mention any of that stuff to me when I was talking to her, so I she seems pretty oblivious to any of the narcotics or any other contraband that was in the vehicle. Okay, sounds good. Well, that's all I'm going to do. Appreciate the help, guys. Yeah, man, anytime. All right, Amber, so here's the deal. Caden's uh, going to jail, obviously. Um, And he's probably going to need some help to get out of jail. Uh, but the thing right. is... Uh, he claims the narcotics in the car are all his. Nothing nothing on you. So you were just a uh, passenger in this whole thing. Um, so we have yeah. no charges we're going to hold you on. Uh, so I can either could give you a ride up to the, the police station here or you can get an Uber. It's kind of up to you. Um, I mean, if you're headed back that way, uh, a ride would be nice. Are you want you want to be dropped off here or you want to go to the uh, station? Um... I guess here, because I'll have to call the lawyer and see if that's even possible or if I have to wait or something, so. Yeah, my my guess is by the morning, he'll probably be getting transferred to Bolingbroke, but you might be able to catch it before then. All right. Well, I appreciate it. No problem, Amber. Well, hopefully things uh, start turning around for you. All right. And you have my phone and stuff? Yeah, we have your contact information. Okay, cool. Thanks for the ride, man. No problem. Have a good one. Yeah, 127. I'll be back 10 8 at uh, 1036. Oh, there he went. <laughs> He's going to the jail right now. Perfect. Holy crap. We're pulling up to this. This is a stolen vehicle, possible stolen vehicle. Um, I guess they're not uh, coming back with any information here in this vehicle. So we'll have to see what transpires here. I was interested to see when I came around the corner, they were not enough information for a, a felony stop, but I went ahead and just did it in case County they take Street, off. I'd be advised our robbery subject here at the uh, 24 seven on route 68. It's gonna be a white male, black hair, uh, blue hoodie, white shirt with a blue and red target on the front, um, dark colored jeans, uh, blue and white sneakers. And he's going to be driving a blue, um, older four-door sedan, unknown plate, make and model. Straight here, one touch road. And there we go. Straight into a 31 with him. 127, I'm with them. We're going to be on Mountain View Drive now, making a left turn on Alhambra. We're at 1029 at the uh, BCSO. Head towards 247, 1033, high rate of speed. Left turn on to Joshua Road. It'll be eastbound on Joshua Road, 1036. 
1039 eastbound Joshua Road. We'll be coming up to Sea View. Just 10, sorry, just uh, negative on that. Continuing 1043 eastbound on Joshua Road, kind of up on the 13. Lost eyes, I'm gonna go southbound 13. I think I still got the vehicle southbound 13 towards U-Tool, 1047. Vehicle is uh, pulling us pretty strongly here. Pretty sure that's our vehicle that just showed up. The left turn here. Going out around this way. They might be going to our marina. It's our vehicle right there. I'm pretty sure that's the dude. Yep, in the blue hoodie and everything else. Stolen vehicle. 127, I got that uh, Benz again. We're going to be at VCSO, make a left turn on Alhambra. We're going to be eastbound on Alhambra right now, 1036. Making a right hand turn back to Joshua Road. Right turn on Joshua Road would be westbound Joshua, 1036. Uh, 373, I got call out 27. Continuing Joshua Road, uh, 1045 westbound. Still continuing Joshua 1015 westbound. County 35 1031. Back in pursuit of this thing. A stolen vehicle. We gotta be careful. I don't want to get too close to them in case they do have a weapon in the vehicle. We don't know. Moderate speed for right now in this car. Coming up to the Harmony, uh, 68 the Harmony, taking the approach. 68 approach, 918, southbound. Moderate speeds right now, coming back up here to 68. Jim Leahy is the. <laughs> I know who this is. Oh! Oh my god, they just hit that person! Get more aggressive with him. Oh, they almost bought the farmer on that corner. <laughs> 127, we're still on uh, Grand Valley here. 707. Heading southbound towards Los Santos. Yeah, for I got you. Yeah, they struck a uh, pedestrian on the side of the road, and they're continuing. We're going to be uh, out here at 7:03 on Vinewood Drive. Still continuing on Mount Vinewood Drive, 7:03 southbound. We're coming up on Marlow here shortly. Nope, we're making the left turn before Marlowe. We're going to be at West Galileo, headed towards the observatory. 703 still. Still on West Galileo. We're going to be staying straight. Nope, we're making a right turn towards the observatory here. East Galileo Park, sorry, we're at Galileo Park now. 703 at the observatory itself. We're continuing across, still in the 703 area. We wrap it around back north here on East Galileo Avenue. I got you guys again. 10 four. I can take over. Oh, or not. I struck the people. All right, we're still 703 East Galileo. We'll be heading back down to the Vinewood Hills. 717.
And we're still at uh, 717 now. We're going to be coming up here to Bay Tree, making a left turn on Bay Tree, taking that back to the county. Bay Tree Canyon Road. Turning around. Turning around. Nearly hit my vehicle. We're getting back on uh, Bay Tree Canyon Road. Southbound now. We're going to be right here at the uh, Sisyphus Theater. 717. Still saying right here on Baytree Canyon Road, coming up on Marlowe, making the left on Marlowe. East Marlowe Drive. Still 718 now. Staying on Marlowe Drive. The southeast. This is going to come all the way back around the north side of the uh, amphitheater. We just to the east of the uh, Vinewood sign. Staying on Marlowe Drive. Going to be just north of the amphitheater right now. 722. Still on Marlowe. We're coming back out here to uh, stand by. Staying on Marlowe. We're at Marlowe. We're just to the uh, south of Mount Han Road, 723. Up on Sonora. On Sonora Road, left turn back towards the 13 here. Also 400. Zero, zero. Just lost tire. Out of the pursuit. He's going uh, northbound 13. Northbound 13. Zero one, we're going southbound 13 right now. We're at, we will just blew a tire. Holy moly. Yeah, last seen northbound in the 13 passing the uh, trucks or the way station. Chop four. We're sitting at uh, 724 uh, 13, and uh, he hasn't passed us yet. 10 4. I'm just changing the tire. <laughs> Made the airbags go off because it cut the tire and went into the pole. All right, we got that. He is uh, currently moving five miles from that way. There's the stop right there. Looks like they are challenging him. He's out of the vehicle now. Yep, please giving up. Well, they got him. We chased him all over the place and blew a tire to do it, but we got him. Well, that thing is absolutely trashed. Let's hang out for now. Hey, do you want me to call a tow truck or do you want to do it? Uh, I think it's going to be county. Yeah. I'll go ahead and radio it. Okay. All right, folks. That's going to do it for this episode of OCRP. Hopefully you enjoyed the patrol. I sure did. I got to say. Uh, that guy came out of nowhere. Was not expecting that, <laughs> like, at all. But uh, anywho, that'll do it. See you guys next time. Take care.